Hello there, person. I bet you're thinking right now, I wonder what's new with Rape Binder. Well, I'm here to satisfy your curiosity and share with you what's new. Check it out. We got a lot of new stuff this week, actually. Lots of very productive week. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. First of all, these statues. Um, these statues are nice and nice looking now. Um, they represent each player. And um, they've got a nice little uh, diamond shaped like pedestal they're sitting on, a little flame uh, in the air. And they can also be stolen. So you can go and um, if I go over here and I go to this guy's base, I can go steal this base. And this statue will change into my statue. So now I know that's my base. Um, oh, it looks like I didn't change the outline color correctly there. Uh, you know what? It didn't work at all. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because there's no player here. Let's check this out. Let's turn on all the bots real quick. Let's do this right. You also notice that it, everybody has their weapon sitting on the ground right here. And you don't start with the punch ability anymore. So there's no more punch ability. You pick up your blade right away. And uh, that causes um, that causes you to have the, the blade ability. And then, um, and then bots will do it too. Let's see if I can go steal this guy's base here. Let's see what happens. It should change into my statue. I, wor I made this work earlier. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta revisit that. Something's going wrong with that. Uh, but anyways, um, that should be switching to my statue. And then it makes it really clear which, which base is yours because you got your statue there. Uh, so just pretend like that works um, So when it comes to the blades, this is really really fun actually being able to pl pick up your blade First of all, it's a nice reward that you get to go pick up a blade second of all you can't pick up an enemy's blade Third of all you can drop your blade in battle with the shield and the shield is now way more cooler Check this out when you use the shield. It's got this nice little oomph feeling to it Boom yeah it's got the nice little effects and animations going on, and a, a screen shake and everything. And uh, arrows will bounce too, so let's go ahead and turn back on these guardians. And the bots. And I will turn on just the, the guardians first, so we can see these arrows bounce. This is really cool. Using the shield to make these arrows bounce just makes the shield so much more fun. Um, there's a lot of little tweaks to the shield now too, because it used to be something where, um, oh, I got a level, oops, <laughs> pressing the wrong buttons here. Um, the shield used to, when you got hit with the shield, it would still flash, your character would flash, and you would get knocked back a little bit. Basically, oh, the shield never really acted like too much like a shield. Now it's a lot smarter. So uh, when I use the shield, and I get hit by something, here, let's go ahead and this animation isn't quite loaded, so it doesn't look quite because we're still loading some things. Uh, but let's use the shield. There we go. Oh, use the shield. Arrows bounce off. Super cool. And um, yeah, so there, that that the shield is so much more fun. Oh my gosh. And here's the really cool thing about the shield, though, is that it, when you when you block a person's attack in battle, let's go ahead and turn on all the bots all the way. Um, it will cause them to drop their blade. So let's go ahead and play a little bit, actually. Let's try all this out. All this new stuff. Um, I'm just going to mention this here. Also, there's two new items. There's a, an item that grants you um, uh, armor, an armor boost. And then there's also an item which grants you damage, so more damage. And uh, the systems in, are in place there for, um, for applying armor and damage accurately to everything. So let's go ahead and see what we get out of this chest. Got an item. Damager, hey, that's one of them. Sweet. So you can see right here I'm doing twice the damage. That's cool. Um, I don't have a shield yet. I, don't have, I haven't leveled up. So let's go ahead and... Need a few, little bit more experience. 
Just a little bit more. There we go. Boom. I want the shield because it's awesome now. What's great about having the shield block um, arrows and... Here, I'll let this guy attack me. He's going to be smart enough too. I haven't worked too much on the AI this week. There's a lot of issues with him still. Oh, come on. There we go. There's his... See, his spear went flying out of his hands and he, he didn't go for it. What an idiot. He's running around with no spear. Oh, man. Talk about how smart they AI and then they act all dumb. Happens. I'm kind of embarrassed here. Gosh, there's so many little bugs I'm noticing. Which happens every time I film a video. I'm like, oh, let's work on work on this all week and work on that all week and choose all this new stuff. And I go and record a video and not everything's not working anymore. What the hey? Oh well. I guess what's most important is having fun, right? While you're playing. I'm having fun. Like I'm running. Using my shield. Let's go ahead and try it out using the shield with uh, somebody else. Let's see if it works a little better. Oh, these guys are stuck. <laughs> now they're not. What? There we go. He picked up his axe right away. There we go. He got his axe back. That other guy was acting stupid. I'm low on health. Back to my base, get some health. So yeah, that's the new stuff this week. Gosh, I shared it pretty fast. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It took a long time to do all this fun stuff. Oh, you know what else is new? There's another new thing here. The background clouds are a lot more pretty. Worked on that too. Um, you can see they're a lot more evenly spaced out, they're brighter, and they're less too obviously circular, and um, and the hue is a lot better. So I noticed that um, the green hue and the yellow hue didn't really work very well for me aesthetically in the background. So now what I've done is I've, I've limited the hues that the, the background can be. It can be a pinkish hue, an orangish hue, red, or purple, but it can never really be uh, green or yellow anymore because those just didn't, they didn't really, they clashed. They really clashed with the whole game engine, or the whole the whole visual aesthetic, sorry. Um, and then also another big thing this week is um, outlining characters in the team color. So I used to have it so um, all, everybody that was on your team was outlined in green and up at the top where it's, it's got the, all the player portraits, the background was green if they're on your team. Um, and so the, the whole, the whole uh, concept there was green is your team, red is an enemy team. Um, but I decided to try this out where every, your outline color is actually the color of your team, right? So I'm blue and... Uh, going on here whoa that's super weird weird animations um, and then this guy everybody else that would be, like let's if I were to die I would turn into a different color but this this player here cat is a wraith let's catch up over here where's where cat go cat is is on the green team because they're a green wraith so I can tell their color so but any so the way it works now is um anybody that's on your team is your color and everyone else is the white color. So it kind of blends both of those, uh, or it blends the whole simplicity of green versus red. Now it's just your color versus white. Uh, so it's still got that simplicity, but it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing to see your color. And it also helps a lot while you're playing to see your color, right? So if I go to like all these white outline things are not my team, but if I were to turn on God mode and go back to my base all the way over here, these things are outlined in blue and I know it's my base. If I were to go steal a base, did I do that already on this one? Let's see if I, let's, if I stole this base right here. Oh 
gotta kill these guys first. Yeah, one more. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here with your vet nib. If I were to steal this base, these things would turn into. Oh no, he's just gonna. Oh, perhaps I almost stole it. That's what I get for trying to, like, record a video, play a video game. And show off maybe stuff. Oh well. You you get the point though, right? These things would turn blue. So anyways, it helps a lot because you can it easily identify which things are on your team because they're just outlining your team color. And it makes it simpler too for me to exp like when I create a tutorial or if I have to just explain things to somebody like in person, right? If I if it, you, or if you let's say you want to explain what the heck's going on in Wraithbinder to a friend, you say like and your friend asks you, Hey, who's on my team? You say it's it's your color, stupid. <laughs> it's pretty easy to tell now who's on what team. So there you have it. That's what's new this week. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and um, I'm gonna go work on some bugs now, fix some things because this is I'm tired of being embarrassed by these bots. All right, we'll catch you next time.